Hey everyone, it's Lorraine here. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my latest travel adventure. This is my first time visiting Barcelona, and we had an absolutely brilliant time exploring the gorgeous city. We had loads of amazing food, and I can't wait to share all the highlights with you. Let's dive in. First up, let's talk about the attractions. Our first stop was, of course, Gaudi's famous Sagrada Familia. This basilica is just incredible, an absolutely masterpiece of architecture and art. The stained glass windows, the light streaming in, the colors, it was all absolutely breathtaking. Honestly, photo don't even come close to doing its justice. We also took a peek at Casa Mila from the outside, even from there, you can really appreciate Gaudi's unique style. On our first night, we managed to catch a flamenco show at the Palace of Music. The palace itself is stunning, with such intricate details on the ceiling. And it was packed! So if you fancy going, make sure you get your tickets early. The music wasn't my usual cup of tea, but the dancers were so passionate. And their moves were really impressive. We had a lovely walk through the city and end up at the marina. The breeze, the fresh air, it was just perfect. I even managed to burn my feet walking on the beach. I don't think local people get that. Never thought that would happen. During our walk, we also stopped by the Cathedral of Barcelona, which was beautiful too. Barcelona is such a laid-back city, with a great mix of locals and tourists. It's also full of history and charm, and it reminded me a bit of some place in Italy. On our last day, we took a scenic drive up to Tibidabo. Even though it was a bit rainy, the views from the top was absolutely stunning, offering a panoramic look over the entire city. was so quiet and peaceful, really calming and soothing. Now on to one of my favorite parts, food. And we have the cafe croquette and the smoked anchovies with red pepper. Okay. Perfect. Um, we and recommend everything to share. <laughs> Our first stop was a Michelin star seafood restaurant. We tried everything, starters, main seafood, and every bite was delicious. And the service was really great. So I like to give this restaurant a solid 4.5 out of 5. On the first evening, we had dinner right outside the Palace of Music. It was such a hidden gem. We ordered some classic tapas like patatas bravas, fried baby squid, and ham. Everything was so amazing. This might be our favorite spot from the trip. 
And of course, we finish every bite of the food. And I like to give a five out of five. The next morning, we found this lovely local brunch place and had a chill morning. It wasn't typical Spanish breakfast. It was still good, maybe four out of five. Later that day, we went to the Barquilla market and saw so many tempting options. If you fancy ham or fresh oysters, you don't want to miss out this stop. After our beach walk, we find this really local tapas place in the residential area. It was so local that the menu wasn't even English, but it was so authentic. The food was great, but since everything was fried, I'd give a 3.5 out of 5. The last restaurant, I cannot recommend it as it gave me food poisoning. The other main dish we got was just too boring. So 1 out of 5 for that one. Lastly, I love that in Barcelona they sell whole legs of ham in the supermarket, just hanging there. I wonder how many people actually buy a whole leg from the supermarket? Let me know if you've ever done that. The smell was so strong when you're surrounded by a hundred cured pork legs. To finish our food tour, we find this cheesecake shop with seven different types of cheesecake. Some have gorgonzola, some have brie, some have blue cheese, tiramisu, or goat cheese, or chocolate. Oh my goodness, I loved it. And it's definitely a five out of five in the dessert world. If you're a foodie like me, you definitely want to check out these spots. One of the cutest surprises was the number of dogs we saw everywhere. It was so heartwarming to see these fair friends enjoying the city alongside their owners. As a dog lover and owner myself, it added an extra layer of joy to our trip. Look at them, they're everywhere! That's it! We had an amazing time in Barcelona. We enjoyed every second in the city and we'll definitely be back and we're seriously considering moving to Barcelona. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you ever travel there or if you want to travel there, if you have any comments, do leave it down below, and I will see you next time.